and welcome to Down to Earth. Our question this week is a really good one, and it's one that actually I was even confused by when I first moved to Austin a while back. It is, what is a woody perennial? Many people have asked me, what is a woody perennial? And you say that it's time to prune it right now. And so what exactly is a woody perennial in my garden? Actually, I'm familiar with types of plants like this being called root hardy. Plants such as lantana, esperanza or yellow bird, and the red bird of paradise. Those plants that sometimes remain evergreen, but usually die back to the ground. And if you leave the tissue above ground, that woody tissue, you may get some growth back from that, but it's going to be a lusher, fuller plant, and it will flower more if you go ahead and prune all of that above ground portion down to the ground. So that's a woody perennial. And as I said, I have always called those root hardy. So even I found that question confusing. Normally we would say to prune them now in February. But since we had a colder winter this year, it might be better to go ahead and wait. I like to wait until these plants, I start to see them emerging from the surface of the ground. I see some new green growth. Then I know it's time to get rid of the above ground portion. If you have already pruned them or you're pruning them now, that will also be fine. There won't be any problem with that. Our plant this week is the pink trumpet vine, Podrania ricosoliana. This plant may be evergreen when we have mild winters, but it's listed for zone nine. We are also in zone eight. So this plant is normally root hardy for us. It does dry back to the ground, die back to the ground in the winter. So again, prune these plants very hard yearly. This plant may not be pruned back to the ground necessarily. It does get very, very large. But if you don't prune it back hard every year, it will be more leggy and less lush and it probably will have less flowers. It is native to South Africa, and it's very vigorous, like its cousin, the orange trumpet vine, Campsus radicans. It usually gets 15 to 20 feet tall, depending on the surface that you have it growing. It also gets just as wide, if not wider, over time. It does tend to take over, so be very careful where you put this plant. It will tolerate virtually any soil type, and it does require regular watering through the heat season. But don't over-water it. Over -water it. It will tolerate light shade and also full sun. So it's a very versatile plant. It has glossy, beautiful green foliage, which is very important because this plant doesn't flower into the late summer or early fall. Flowers can be two inches across and they're very beautiful. It's also time in your garden to prepare the, the garden beds for your new vegetables. You need to till in three to six inches of compost or just turn the soil. To send us your plant or question of the week, go to klru.org ctg.